Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be doing like a general like vlog. It's a Saturday. It's currently five, just after five, but it's still light and oh my god, you don't know how, you do not know how happy that makes me that it doesn't get light till after six. Oh, I just love bright nights because I get to film at this time like three months ago. It would be pitch black at this time. And honestly, that annoyed me so, so much. But I need to write a to-do list. But my sort of plan is to get some editing done of my uni reactions video that I've literally just finished. Honestly, I'm buzzing for that video. And if you haven't watched it, then I will leave it like in the description box or in a card I don't know but oh I'm so buzzing I'm finally able to finish that video and oh and I kind of knew that I needed to wear makeup for the final clip because I had not taken a thumbnail YouTube alive but yeah I need to edit I need to get on with an assignment that's due on Monday luckily because I'm at home though I can I can use the whole day of Monday, whereas if it had been during last Monday, I would definitely have to make sure I'd finished it for Sunday night because, um, excuse me, if I was in person. Granted, I could have technically finished that second lesson because it was research anyway, like it's a research lesson anyway, so that works out great. And I also need to tidy up my room a little bit. I want to empty my bin like I need to empty my bin because then I'll be able to clean it up a bit more <sighs> the worst part about being in person is the fact that I actually need to buy a drink each day instead of just using like the water like not filters but like the water machines because we're not supposed to use them because of covid and like loads of people could touch it and let's say Harry from the from the accounting course had covid and touched it i could then touch it get covid so i'd like to point out harry is a fictional person there probably is a harry on the accounting course but yeah and so yeah we can't so i have to spend at least a like i could buy water for like 70p because I like the ones where you open up the top rather than like I don't know how to call it I don't like the little like nozzle thing that you suck out of just not my thing it's not my thing so I have, it's either spend like 70p on like the smart water because it's like the cheapest one with that cap at Tesco or gets a fizzy drink so I got a fizzy drink because you always do one day I popped into B&M the next I popped into Tesco it just depends on whether I'm walking to college in the morning or not and Monday I did have to but Wednesday I didn't no Wednesday I did both days but one day I forgot to buy a drink so there's that but that's my like current plan I wanna yeah editing and assignment work simple if I finish editing then I might start editing another video and when I say another video, I mean six hours of Sims, Sims footage, but I'd probably only do like the rough cuts because I think there is like spaces of time where I've not done anything or like I've taken a break or it's just meaningless task. And it's sometimes it can be quite easy to cut that down because I've already edited like two hours of Sims footage into like 20 minutes, which is epic. However, some of that I was literally just like sat there doing nothing. So there is that. But I don't want to keep talking you, like 
rambling on about like the stuff I plan on doing and I'm just trying to get on with it because honestly I just need to get on with it but I think the first thing to do is empty the bin because I don't know about anyone else but when you empty a bin automatically it makes you feel as though you've a, like a lot cleaner and yeah I don't know but honestly I'm in a good mood I don't know whether it's because of having now firmed or whether it's because it's now bright outside I don't know but yeah and also I don't know whether it's because of this like bedding like you see honestly I love it it brings me so much joy and that probably sounds so weird but that bedding can bring me so much joy but it's like my happiest one it's got like this is gonna sound weird but it's got colour and for some reason my like marble print one isn't cut doesn't really cut it for me it cuts it for me more but then like my whole grey one doesn't and I think I know which bedding I want for uni but I know that I'm gonna have to buy it myself because it's gonna be above my mum's price range or I'm gonna have to buy it like when I'm at uni if that makes sense because I love the skinny dip like leaf print one I just oh I love it and I know it's very similar very similar to this but I don't know I just I've gotten so into like plants like more specifically house plants and I just love watching plant like watching stuff about plants about propagating I've also gotten more into what else have I gotten more into interior design and I kind of wish that my curtain pole was not attached because I'm no longer liking my sort of like velour it's like a velour it looks a bit like velvet it's like that type of material I'm no longer liking them I'm wanting something that's just like not that and that's just like plain I like the look of like the I can't remember I don't know what they're called but they're like drapes they're not drapes but they're like vorte or something I don't know but they're like those like semi sheer like curtains and I love them I love the look of them but yeah because I like a curtain I want a curtain that's gonna let some light in so like especially during the summer months if let's say I don't want my curtains open then I'll still have light coming through because I like using natural light as a wake up thing and I find that when I do that I just I don't know it kind of helps me get out of bed more because it's like it's going to be more in rhythm with my body's circadian rhythm and so yeah I've talked too much and let's just get on with what I'm planning on doing okay so it's almost half six like it's just after 25 past six and all I've done is empty my bin and yeah honestly I've been scrolling through twitter for a bit and like only a little bit I just don't even know what I've done <laughs> just I've not done anything and honestly it's a problem but oh well Technically today I did make my bed. Obviously that was already made but and I only made it for the video, like for a thumbnail. Not for this video, for my uni reactions video. I think my first step tonight will be to transfer the uni reactions video like footage, like the last clip to the file. Cause what I've done is I've set up I put all footage in a file and yes that is a teddy bear I do sleep with a teddy who cares but I put all the footage into a file I just need to go through and edit it any like gaps etc I might not take out those gaps I might just leave them in there but yeah it's just I haven't taken off like 
the starts of clips and ends of clips so I do need to do that but I kind of set myself up in a way that meant I that meant that I wasn't gonna have to go through like the past like few months to find it because I got my first like decision from a uni I think end of January yeah it was like end of January so yeah and I know the lighting is terrible but I kind of wanted to do it this way a bit more personal as I'm lying on my bed so yeah I do need to make my tea though so I think I'm gonna do that first just because like get my tea started like get my tea done and then get on with some work maybe not clean my room though I don't know I typically do that but between like 11 and 12 and I also want to read tonight I haven't done a to-do list I did like a little plant propagating update though and honestly I need to turn my light on because honestly I'm gonna ruin my eyes if I look at technology in the dark so look how red I am but yeah I will actually update you guys when I'm actually like done something so in true me being me style I obviously didn't vlog any more of Saturday I also had a nap I know so bad I didn't even create the to-do list so yeah that's even worse but what I have done today is I hurt my elbow yes I actually has it from basically I thought I was at the bottom of the stairs but I wasn't and so I went to step back and um I went a bit further than um I didn't fall down the stairs but you know when it's like because you're expecting to find the ground and because you've stepped down further it puts you off and you kind of just lose your balance but that's the first thing I did and then I also got the covid vaccine the first one my gp said that i was eligible for it i even like questioned it as well because i have a minor condition that i didn't that doesn't affect my immune system doesn't affect me but i was eligible so i had it i've had the oxford zeneca one i don't know if that's the exact name but I've had that one so this left arm could be very sore soon my elbow is already sore my arm could be sore I don't know I don't obviously because it's covid I don't know how I'm going to react to this vaccine but any other vaccine I've had I don't think I've been ill or if I have been ill it's only been like a cold if, that, if you get me so yeah I'm jabbed i've had my first dose so that's a bonus so yeah that's obviously a bonus and so i do now need to make sure i get on with some work tomorrow i'm going to be booking my accommodation for uni which is exciting i'm hoping i get the accommodation i want but yeah it is what it is so I need to get on with work I also need to edit because I didn't edit at all and just yeah I look I'm just looking at my plans oh I cannot wait till they're like actually in pots and I can like proper like pot them oh I cannot wait April is going to be an expensive month for me in terms of like plant pots because like I need plant pots, I need um, soil, I don't need a watering can because I can just use like a cup or something so I'm fine with that and I also need to buy some more cleanser because I'm basically running out so yeah that's just how it is and yeah I've been jabbed I was lazy yesterday I hurt my elbow that's my little update so I do need to get on with work I didn't even read 
Like I said, I was hoping to read, but I didn't even read. That's how bad it was. But, yeah. I might open a window. I might not. I don't know. But, I will certainly keep you updated as to whether, like, I've done anything or as to whether I'm feeling any side effects yet of this vaccine. You know, I'm going to document it and, or I'm going to document as much as I feel up to, up to documenting. But if I feel terrible, then I'll just do, like, a story time and type of thing. But, yeah, that's what I've done today. And that's what I didn't do yesterday. And just, yeah. Because, honestly, guessing the jab isn't that big of a deal. Like, oh, no, of course, you can't even see it. There we go. That's all it is. It doesn't hurt at the moment. It could ache. But, yeah. And I didn't feel a thing. Well, I felt like a, t you know, like a tiny pinch when it first goes in, but after that it's like, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah. Well, that's all I can say. And let's try and get on with some work. I need to get back onto doing revising, but let's get through the assignments that I've got first. It's now Monday and basically I did some assignment work I didn't create that to-do list but I did some assignment work and in terms of like how I'm feeling from the vaccine I do feel a bit hot my like I tried taking my temperature but it came back as like 36 which I think is a little low but I'm currently feeling like hot and my heart rate is currently in like the 120s so my heart rate is high i've currently got all three windows open to try and like cool me down like i know i'm my temperature doesn't say i'm hot but i feel hot and so i need to have a window open and i don't feel as though it's making much of a difference whereas usually it would so that kind of says how hot i do feel but today i have lessons well this morning i have like a lesson that's likely for me to be taught content and then this afternoon it's more student-led so i don't have to be on a call so that's good but then i have obviously got an assignment due today and so i'm gonna try and like get through those like adding in the graphs i've made ex some of the graphs i've made etc so yeah, that's how I am. I only was aware of how high my heart rate is because of my Fitbit. Because it came up with a notification to tell me that I was in, like, the zone. Which is basically where, like, your heart rate is in, like, a certain zone for, like, fat loss. So, yeah. That's how I'm feeling. So, I suspect that I'm kind of having a bit of a fever. I feel okay at the moment. So I don't need to take any like paracetamol or ibuprofen, but obviously if I feel things strange then I will. But it's a main focus on lessons. Actually I did finish editing a video yesterday and exporting it so that will go up onto YouTube for me to upload for tonight hopefully. So that'll be good. And it's my uni reactions video, so it's a good one. But, yeah, that's like my little update. I'm going to try and pick up this a little bit more today. Also, my jab site does proper ache. It only ached a little bit yesterday, but now it's like proper like aching. And so, yeah. And I kind of just feel as though like I've got a slight ache all over my body I don't know I especially felt like that like last night but I woke up like this morning and I was like sweaty a little bit which isn't common for me unless it's like summer and it's like really hot but apparently it's only like I think my phone said it was like zero degrees or at least it felt like zero I think it's only like three degrees so my room should be freezing right now but I barely feel anything. I feel like a light thing, but yeah. 
Could be because there's like no wind, and when I say no wind, I mean no wind. Maybe the tiniest thing, like moving the shelves of trees, but that's it. So I need to try and source out accommodation for uni today as well, because I still haven't got a link through. I'm gonna try and do like the link like after half eight, because one department doesn't open until half eight. So I'm thinking, could that be that? department but then I'm gonna try and like call as well and I'm gonna like explain like my issue so yeah but other than feeling a bit hot and having an aching and having a high heart rate I feel okay like I'm obviously not a hundred percent but I feel fairly okay so that's obviously a bonus and yeah Oh, I think there's more of a breeze now, and it's so nice. But, because I've literally got all three windows open. So, yeah. But, that's, like, my little Monday update, and I will hopefully catch you guys a little later. So, after not updating you guys in a few days, basically, the day I last spoke to you, I did an assignment. I submitted it. I don't know whether that was the day, like was telling you about but I definitely know I submitted an assignment Monday in terms of how I felt after the vaccine Monday I felt absolutely crap like I didn't want to move I had a high heart rate and I just didn't have the greatest appetite and also I felt as though it, I had like a headache but it wasn't like, it was more focused in the front of my head, but it also felt like it was all over. And it made me feel as though I was a bit lightheaded. Only a little bit, though. But that's how I felt. My shoulder still hurt. It still hurts to an extent, but I've got a lot more range of motion in it. And, yeah. But today, I finished an assignment in terms of... I tried to do it to my own okay ability... I definitely could have gone into a little bit more detail in some places. I definitely have a assignment in, not a assignment, I have def I definitely have a reference in the assignment. So at least then it's like, well, I mentioned it. I have, an, uh, I have a reference. So, yeah. Also, for some reason, I kind of just, I don't know. I'm vibing with how I look. Like, I know I have lots of spots and everything. I don't know whether it's like my hair is just looking like a because I've I had basically because I had a shower today. I don't know whether it's because my hair looks nice and soft or because with having cleansed my skin today, I my hair just not my hair my skin just looks nice and healthy and shiny. I don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, so I finished an assignment today. It's the assignment. It's the assignment that I was kind of dreading. But I also have four assignments due in for next week. One on Monday, three on Wednesday. However, I think we're looking to get one of them pushed back to Thursday. Which isn't much, but it's like an extra night. So that's always like a bonus. But, so I will be doing some assignment work tonight. But now that I've finished that assignment, I submitted it. I submitted it at five and it said today by five. So, because it was submitted at 5, it's saying it's late. But I don't think my teacher will mind too much, because it was 5. And, however, I clicked submit, like, at 4.59. And so did, and I think my friend submitted it at 5 as well. I don't know whether she clicked 4.59, but anyway. In terms of word count, I did 2,925. And I did, like, 8.5 pages so I certainly did a good amount for all an assignment so there's that I think what I might do is tonight also by the way because I'm not just for you wondering why I'm not looking at you I'm turning my laptop off because it's probably a bit hot but tonight I think I'm going to try and get done a resub because that's the thing. I also have a resub due in. It's only one, 
one criteria that I need to do and I don't think it's too much so I don't think it'll be too hard but yeah but I also have a assignment the assignment that's due on Monday is supposed to be done in video format and I'm not going to film that today just because I feel like by the time I come to like planet and everything it'll be too dark so I'll probably film that maybe tomorrow at the earliest because tomorrow is Thursday and so I might plan it but other than that I'd do some writing on a different assignment I don't know which assignment but I'd definitely need to work on an assignment but I also need to work out on like what content I want to make and just all of that sort of good stuff so there's all of that but I don't think I have that much of a plan tonight apart from assignment work just because there's a lot of assignments but I feel like wait hold on a sec there is also i also need to finish one of the other assignments during next wednesday so i need to do that but i feel like now that today's assignment has been handing in and okay yeah it's not like to the fully best of my ability but i did still do i did still do a good attempt on it so I don't think she can be too upset because I did still do a good amount like it's not as though I did a thousand words but like the whole thing I did do more I tried to do at least a hundred words for each like topic I was talking about but anyway and I certainly did that in a bit more towards the end there might have been one that was like a hundred though but I feel like now that's out of the way I kind of feel like it's a bit of a weight lifted like I know I'll get it back as a resub but it feels like a weight that's been lifted because it's been a weight that's been there since January like I should have started it in January I also didn't put the dates on but um, I can do that on the resub so there is that but I also think she probably like even though she was wanting dates she also will probably kind of expect the f some not to have dates on so yeah I'll need to go back and put dates in but I haven't done gone back and said oh yeah in this week and that so I definitely will need to put in more and probably like at least a thousand more but probably a thousand five hundred more but I've done at least for the subjects that are like after this term anyway like after Christmas because it was set after Christmas so she'll want it for that so it'll be like okay yeah in this week for the subjects so I will need to go back in and add more but Overall, I've done not a bad thing, but it feels like a weight that, yeah, so I need to do, yeah, but I'll need to do an assignment along with trying to get that resub done, because I don't think that resub will take me too much, because it's only like one criteria that I do need to work on. I know camera quality is terrible but I forgot to end the video so I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to watch another one of my videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!